Hi, uh, my name is Becca. And I'm Jenna. We are both seniors at Gretna High School. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I like this. And uh, <laughs> uh, our piece is called Young Adult Lit. Welcome to the world of young adult lit. A population of two. Girl A, the protagonist, hopelessly in love with a boy. Girl B, the antagonist, the one who knows how to get the boy, who wears lipstick and leggings and luxury drips from her every word. She's perfect. Probably beautiful, probably skinny. Probably average in all other aspects. She I is am the other girl. girl. And then there's me, her. the new girl, the underdog, the one who's above everything the other girl stands for. No makeup, no hairstyle. I sit in the corner and read and dream and hope that someday I won't be invisible. But maybe if you'd make an effort, people would notice you more. And I deserve that boy because of course, he's not a person, he's a prize. As much as I want and wish and whine, he'll always come back to me. It becomes less about the boy and more about the other girl. This, this is what the author wants. The author pits girl against girl. The author slut shames. The, the author makes us pick a side and it works. This is the rise of the, the nerd, nerd girl. Fear it. And unlike the pages of young adult lit, it's, it's anything, anything but fictional. Because the most contagious words are ideas. They grow straight out of the pages into real life. This, this is young adult misogyny. misogyny. Building some girls up by tearing others down. Forcing competition and compliance with society's conditions for female, female excellence. excellence. Telling girls they aren't good enough until they break the mold. Telling girls they're not strong enough if they like the things that, that make them, them happy. So we give in. We mock Ugg boots and scarves. And coach bags and boy bands. And, and florals, florals and, and leggings and Starbucks. Starbucks. Like the mainstream is a disease. Like liking is wrong unless you, you like the right things. things. Just once I want the, the villain, villain of the story to be not like, like other girls. girls. Watches Doctor Who and drinks tea. Unlike other girls. Wears cardigans, writes poetry. Unlike other girls. Listens to indie music. Unlike other girls. Other girls wear more pink, but this girl wears black. And has a hand-me-down car. And isn't classically beautiful, but there's just something about her that makes her different from all these, these other girls. girls. Give me a villain who's real. Give me a villain who's so self-assured in her insecurity that she'll, she'll never see the opposition coming. coming. Give me the rise of the every girl. And every girl who is comfortable in her own skin, who likes what she likes. And doesn't have to change who she is to, to feel, feel like she'd fit in with a young adult novel. novel. Because I'm sick and tired of telling girls that they have to hate each other. So if, like us, you're waiting for a girl who is like other girls, don't, Don't hold, hold your, your breath. breath. Because until someone steps forward to be the author who's, who's not, not like, like other, other authors, authors, I have a feeling we'll be waiting for, for a very long time. time.